Good evening. It is New Year's Eve and we are absolutely going nowhere tonight. It's a night in with a bit of party food and a bottle of fizz for me, Mr Mac and the kids. But I have been busy today. I have been shopping. I have been desperately on the search for good storage solutions. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I watch a lot of these organizational videos on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of um, American ladies with ginormous houses and stupid amounts of storage um, so that they can have perfect pantries and a drawer for this and a drawer for that and a drawer for everything else. But realistically, I live in a small three bedroom house in a normal town in a rural part of the country. And I don't have these ginormous cupboards and everything else. So I have to make do with the space that I've got. So I'm I thought it was about time I did some realistic storage solutions and home organisations in my home. So it's a little bit different. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Um, I'm going to start by showing you the problem areas of my home and then I'm going to show you the bits and pieces that I've bought to hopefully fix it. That will be this video and then I'm going to do some separate videos on each area as I reorganise it. Now the first thing is this craft cart. It is supposed to be beautifully organised with pens and pencils and has just become a dumping ground. So we're going to get that reorganised with the help of Grandma who gave Izzy a super special treat to get this all organised and sorted out in the new year. The second problem area is this cupboard which is also craft supplies. I have a very crafty daughter as you know. Now this is fairly well organised already but it has become a bit of a dumping ground so I thought it was time to give this a good overhaul too. The next thing, this is embarrassing. This is the scrap cupboard. Uh, this is the snack cupboard. Look at that. That is just despicable horrific in fact full of halloween sweets biscuits treat boxes and just loads of empty wrappers and i'm absolutely horrified at the state of that last but not least up here i keep all of our family's medicines in these two ikea baskets but they are so disorganized Ugh. look at that Everything's just dumped in there. Most of it's out of date. There's all sorts of things and it desperately needs sorting. So my plan is to reorganise the medicine box completely, get that all categorised, throw away all the old stuff, get it all nice and sorted. Craft cupboard and craft cart and also the sweet cupboard. And I'm going to do separate videos on each of them. So let me show you what I've bought so that I can help myself get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the things that I purchased from Pound Stretcher. Now, we have lots of these in the southeast. I don't know if they're also in the north of the country. Pound Stretcher is slightly misleading because you think it's a pound shop, but it's not. It's basically a cheap shop. Um, there's all sorts of things in there from food to home storage, um, bedding, there's toys, and they even sell wool actually. They have some nice wool in there. Um, medication and basically things that you need to run your home. So I bought from there first of all one of these under the shelf racks. Now I have had these previously, they're quite good. They slide onto the shelf in a cupboard and just hang underneath. Now that snack cupboard is really quite a deep cupboard. So it's a very tall space and it's wasted. So I thought this would be quite good to slide in there. I bought some good old microwave takeaway food containers. These are always really handy. I know they sell these in the pound shop as well. Um, but the ones in Pound Stretcher are slightly stronger. They don't break quite so easily. They are $1.99 for 10, whereas I think you can get about six to eight for a pound in the pound shop. But as I say, these are slightly deeper and slightly stronger, and I do find they last a lot longer. So it's worth paying that little bit extra for them. These are going to be used for Isabel's craft cart. They actually match, she loves blue. So they've got these teal blue handles on them. And I thought they'd be really good for pens and crayons and things because she can put them in the cart, take them out of the cart, and then she can take them to the table to get on with whatever project she wants to do. And these were 
a pound each and they're really quite sturdy the holes in them aren't too big and there's no holes in the bottom so it's not as if loads of stuff's going to fall out now I particularly like these next ones I bought quite a few of these because I think they're going to be really useful all over the house but they're these plastic lattice baskets you can see they've got a solid bottom they're about three maybe four inches deep which is quite nice these are just 89 pence so you can see they've got their there we go 89p so I got four of those ah. So I've got four of those. They've got handles on the end, so it means if you've got them in a cupboard, you can see what's inside them, but you can just pull them out towards you. Now they come in three different sizes. There's this size, and then there's also this size. So again, I think they're, they're about six inches deep. Um, again, they've got the handles on here. They will easily fit A4 files. So I thought this would be quite good um, for Izzy to keep her A4 packs of card and paper and her sketchbooks in, into one of these. And I thought I've got two. The other one would be good in the snack cupboard uh, for packets of crisps and things like that. Again, it's not too deep, but it's easy enough so you can see what's in it and pull it out of the cupboard. Now, my kids have a lot of sweets. I don't buy them that many sweets, but they seem to acquire sweets. And especially at this time of year, they've got chocolate oranges and toffee and matchmakers and tubes of Rolos and all sorts of stuff that they got for Christmas. That, and when we were in the States, we came home with massive bags of candy because we were there for Halloween. So we got loads of stuff from Disney itself when we went to the Halloween party there. And we got loads more stuff when we went out trick or treating. Um, and I was absolutely gobsmacked by the amount of candy <laughs> that my kids managed to bring home with them. Neither of them are particularly sweet toothed and so actually it's taken them ages to get through it, which is why our cupboard is so full of just odds and sods and it desperately needs sorting. What we also find having two of them is that they fight over what things belong to who. So I've gone really simple with this. I've gone for two containers. They're fairly, si fairly sizable. Um, but they are clear so you can see what's in them. We've gone for different coloured lids. Now they did have pink but Izzy's a blue girl. So Izzy's got blue, Tom's got green. So they can have different lids and they've got one each. But the great thing is, is the lids snap on and off with these little handles and they then stack on top of each other. So I can have all of those sweets that are currently just all over that cupboard segmented into Tom and Izzy. That's the plan. Now, the next few things are from TK Maxx, and this one was a bit of a splurge, but I really liked it. It's ever so simple, it's just a solid Perspex container, it's got no lid or anything, it's just a clear sorting tray. But this will fit perfectly in the top of Isabel's caddy, and she can have pots with all of her pens in, and then this is perfect for rubbers, washi tape, prit sticks all the little things that she needs um, and I thought that was really handy it's by Isaac Jacobs so it's obviously some designer brand or another it's it's TK Maxx so it should have been I doesn't even say what it should have been but it was 9.99 so as I say it is quite a lot um, but it is very sturdy um, really nice clear perspex and I think that's going to be incredibly useful now this one is also TK Maxx, it's a set of three containers, in fact I'm going to open it now so you can see what it's like. This again was 9 99 um, but it's by a company called Box Box. Now I'm hoping, okay it's all sealed up. different to what I thought I assumed it was going to be all stuck together but it's not these are all individual clear perspex boxes and um, there's a solid one there sort of the size of pens with a lid there's another one the same length in fact they're all the same length but it's got two dividers you can see the section in the middle there's one here with four little compartments and a lid 
and there is two of each type. So these are hopefully going to be used in the medicine cabinet. Um, and maybe a combination of that and Isabel's craft cart, but they're really nice. I thought they were quite useful. The lids don't stay on them all that well, so they're definitely stand up in a container storage. But I really like them, and I thought they were useful because they were clear, but they were nice and sturdy, and they weren't just going to crack and break. Now we're also going to be doing a separate video on Izzy's bedroom because she currently sleeps in the box room in our house. It is absolutely tiny, she has no space for anything um, and she's really, really cramped up. So I'm going to do my best to try and reorganise her room a little bit for her. Uh, so I did buy a couple of bits that we're going to be using in there. These are also TK Maxx. And the first one is one of these big plastic crates. Now they are by Curva, so it's a well-known make, and it's called the Knit Collection, which I really like. If you look closely, you can see the texture on the baskets. Zoom in, is like knitting. Now I've actually seen these before, I think in Tesco's. Um, they do them in tealy blue, which we've got here. They do them in cream and also grey in various different sizes. Now, this one's quite a big one, as you can see. Um, but Izzy has an awful lot of comics, like CBeebies comics and things like that. Um, and they just get scalding around in her bedroom and they kind of get dumped on the shelves. So I thought this would be really good. She could stand all her magazines up in this, as well as any colouring books and annuals and things like that. Those kind of A4 sized books and magazines that take up space. She's got a big Ikea Kallax um, unit in her room, so this will just slide in to the Kallax shelf. And the other thing I got, this is a home bargains thing, so back to home bargains, but it was 69p and I was really impressed, is three of these velvet over the door hangers. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There you go, over the door hangers. So they're velvet, so they're non-slip, which is quite good, and they just hook over the top of the door. Now I've seen the long strips before that hook over the back of the door, but I thought these were quite good. Um, because they don't all have to go in one room, you can split them up, you could put them up temporarily if you were just hanging up the washing, or you needed somewhere to just hang a coat when you had visitors. I thought they were a really, really nice idea. So I'm going to see how I get on with this pack, but I could see me picking up some more of these. And so that's that. That's my haul. That's everything that I've bought. And as I say, I'm going to do separate videos for you to show you how I use the things that I've bought and show you the transformation process from dumping ground to hopefully really nicely organised storage. Because I know I love videos like this, so I hope you do too. And if you're watching my channel because you like crafty stuff, then obviously there is absolutely no reason why you can't do exactly the same to your craft room or your sewing room. These things that I've bought are multi-purpose, so you could use them in any room of the house. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember, if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. I do post at least twice a week, if not three times a week, and there's always something of interest. I like to think anyway. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye.